Hello guys, welcome to in 5 minutes. Okay, solving sums. Guys, you need to add, give some heading, editing thing. I'm not so sure what to add. I'm just writing the question which I'm solving. This is from December 2014. Question 2B. Shukriya. Mujhe does bin ni mila yaan face like. ओके सो बाद में दोपहर को जो भी चाहे मांगो वाला ओके सो सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन हाउ टू गो अबाउट इट वेल एस वी कैन सी फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन इट इज ऑन प्रोसेस शेड्यूलिंग वी हैव सीरीज ऑफ प्रोसेसेस कमिंग टुगेदर सो लेट्स सी व्हाट वी हैव बीन गिवन वी हैव बीन गिवन सर्टेन प्रोसेसेस बस टाइम एंड प्रायोरिटी व्हिच इज प्रोसेस Boss time. This is the time they take for execution and priority. We have P one. Boss time is ten. Priority is three. P two with one one. P three with two three. P four with one four and finally finally P five with. Five and two. Now we have been asked to perform scheduling of first come first serve, shortest job, and non primitive priority, and your normal round robin. That means all basic types to go together. And they have clearly said non primitive, shortest job first, as well as the round robin. So let's go with it. How things are going to be done? First will be. Dealing with first come first serve. Let's see how it works. In this case, let's show. You, this is my timeline. Let's start with it. At the bus time, starting from zero, the first one entering in terms of first come first serve would be P one. P one would execute. P one would execute till ten bus time. After that, P two enters, which will only execute for one cycle, making this eleven. I'm also individually writing now. This is for ten. This is for one. Similarly, after that, P three, which is for two. After this, next one coming in is P four, which is again one, so making it fourteen. And finally, coming out to be P five, which is five. So that would be nineteen. I'm also writing individual times. So this is for two. This is for one. This is for five. Now we need to calculate. Major thing is calculate turnaround time, average time. Two things we need to answer. So let's go with it. I'll cut out the remaining parts which we don't need. What we need to calculate. I'm writing it up. We need to calculate turnaround time. For each and average wait time for each. Let's go back now. If we say if we know the average waiting time, if we start with wait time, we call it call it total wait time because when we add wait time. To the bus time, that becomes the turnaround time. So let's calculate for each one. For P zero one, it is zero. For P two, it is ten. For P three, it would be eleven. For P four, it would be thirteen. And for P five, it would be fourteen. Adding them together, what we have is forty-eight. And if we want about average wait time, that would be forty-eight divided by five, which comes out to be nine point six. Similarly, the next thing we need to go through is turnaround time. Let's say total turnaround time. The easiest way to calculate is add two things. That is the wait. Period for that particular process and its bus. So for if we go through, for P one it was wait period was zero, 
added with the burst which was 10 similarly for p2 the wait period was 10 and added with it was 1 for p3 waited till 11 and its burst was 2 for p4 it was waiting till 13 and added with 1 for p5 it waited till 14 and added with 5 so if we solve this thing we have 67 so if we want to calculate average turnaround time it would be 67 by 5 which would be 13 point so this is the first technique first come first so let's go with the next that's it thanks for watching this video